Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my secret room inside a closet, or it's just a triple piston lift, so you can pretty much just put this thing anywhere. So we go inside our closet here, and of course there is nothing in here, but if we click this button and get inside, our whole floor goes down, and we can go down into our secret room. And when we're about to leave, all we have to do is go in here, see this button right here, click it, and poof, and we're out of our secret room. So like I said, it's pretty much just a triple piston lift, but I put it inside a closet because I thought it would be hilarious <laughs> so let's build this thing guys all right guys so for this build we're going to need a 10 by 5 spacing we're also going to have to dig down seven but keep it in mind we're going to have to dig down eight in just one area now for this build we're going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on we're going to need eight sticky pistons 17 redstone repeaters 14 redstone torches a handful of redstone dust two buttons to activate it some blocks of choice for your flooring and some blocks of choice for your walling and i'm also going to take out a lever just to test it to make sure things are working right when we're building it so once you got your 10 by 5 spacing and you've dug down your seven come to the bottom left hand corner and then count over five so one two three four five and then count up three one two three and then right here is where our triple pistons are going to go so one two three this is going to be the left side and then right to the right of this one put one two three again so one two and three then take your blocks of choice and just put it right above them like that so I'm going to do this side first and then this side because it's completely mirrored guys all it is is two triple pistons extending up to make you go up and down so it's a pretty simple build so let's just start building this so what we're going to do is put a block right next to the bottom sticky piston and then we're going to skip a block and put a block right here and put dust in between them next we're going to put a block right above the dust put a torch above this block like that and put a block above the torch and then put a torch going to the right hand side towards our piston right here it sometimes makes this piston extend but sometimes it doesn't let's see it made it extend <laughs> don't worry it'll fix itself and then put a block of choice right above the off torch because you will be able to see that block next put a repeater going from this block into this sticky piston right here on two, uh was it one tick no it's two ticks delay <laughs> i had to think for a second and then put another repeater going into this block right here on one tick delay Next, what we're going to do is swing to the backhand side right here. And right off the bottom block that has this two tick on it, we're going to put a torch here. Then right next to this dust coming out of the torch, we're going to put a repeater on four ticks delay. Put a block in front of your four tick delay repeater with dust on top of it. Then put a block right above this off to on torch. Yeah, off torch, on torch. And then put a torch to the side of it like this. And you'll see this dust going like that, which is what we want. Then put a block right in front of that dust with a torch going to this side it will go off and this will create a falling edge monostable circuit and then we're going to put actually another torch on this side as well because we need our falling edge to go over here it will make this extend up but don't worry guys this will fix itself at once we're done with everything so we're actually going to swing back to over here where we were again and off this off torch right here we're going to come three blocks out going towards this way so one two and three and then we're going to put three repeaters going this way so one two three set the first one to three ticks and then the last two to four ticks like that Next, put a block right above this off torch that's in our uh, falling edge monostable circuit. Then coming out of the block that's right above this off torch, put a repeater on three ticks to lay going towards our sticky pistons. Put a block in front of it. And then a block in front of these four tick delay repeater right here. I pretty much just do it again right here next to this uh, triple piston extender, which we haven't done anything to yet. So just go like this. And then put dust all along these blocks like that. So that should actually be one whole triple piston extension on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my red wool, my block, uh, yeah, my input block, put it right here, put dust on top of it. So right here at the beginning, right here at the beginning, I forgot to say that right where this dust is, put a, your input block here, put dust on top of it like that. And then now we can test it to make sure the triple piston's working. So just put your lever here, flip it down. It extended up fine. Great. And then we flip it back up and it extends down. There we go. We got everything to work. So now all we have to do is literally build the same thing we just did here on this side. So let's just do it. So let's take out, uh, you know, I'll just use a different color. Why not? I mean, it's the same function, but it's just fun to do different colors. <laughs> so what we're going to do is put a block next to the bottom sticky piston, skip one, put dust in the middle, block above the dust, torch, block, torch to the left hand side going towards this one see it didn't extend up sometimes they do sometimes they don't and then put a block of choice right above it because you'll be able to see it and actually this is, should be my floor block i'm gonna make that wood real quick <laughs> there we go next we're gonna put a repeater going into this sticky piston set it to two ticks delay 
a, uh, yeah, I think it said sticky piston, a repeater going into there. And then put a repeater going into this block with the torch on it on one tick delay. Swing to the backhand side right here. Put a torch underneath your two tick delay repeater. Put a four tick next to this dust coming out of the torch. Put a block in front of it with dust on top of it. Put a block right above this on torch. And put a torch going out to the side. Put a block in front of your dust. A torch off to the side. This will create your falling edge model stable circuit. And put one going this way as well. Come back over here, come three blocks out from this torch. One, two, three, going towards this, these blocks right here. And put three repeaters. One, two, three. First one on three ticks, then four ticks, then four ticks. Put a block right above this off torch right here. And put a repeater going into these blocks, set it to three ticks delay. You actually don't really need to do this right here. I just don't know why. I like keeping it symmetrical. But this three tick right here and these three repeaters are actually optional. They don't have to be done since you've already done it on this side. I just like making everything look nice for some reason, even though no one's ever going to see it. <laughs> and then we're going to pretty much just take out our input block. We're done. We take out our input block. Go back over here. Put dust here. Put a lever here to test it out. So let's see if it's working. Boop, boop, boop. Everything's working and everything closes perfectly. Beautiful. Now what we want to do is just connect these together. So all you have to literally do is just put a repeater going this way, a repeater going this way into that block, and then just put dust here like that. And now they're connected together. So if I put a lever here, it goes up and goes down. Beautiful. So now what we're pretty much gonna have to do is make our buttons work. So this is your bottom floor right here. Obviously this is the bottom floor. This is the floor that's gonna be underground. Now you don't have to make it underground, honestly. You could actually just have it right above ground and make it go up to a second level instead of going underground. But I just think it looks cooler when it goes underground. So let's just put some flooring in right here. So this should be our second floor right here. Let's just make sure that's the right size for that. Yep. So that's our first floor and then this is our, well, technically this is our first floor and then this is our basement floor. So let's click that back up. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to put stairs here. I just do. I, I hate having my head hit the uh, ceiling when I come out of it. Well, out of anything, honestly. I just like having three high ceilings. So I usually put stairs right here and make it come down like that. And then I put some blocks like this. And then I put some blocks like that, because this is where our button's gonna go. So what I want you to do is come one block out from a staircase. If you decide to not put a staircase here, still just make it go in one block like that and put your button here. This is where your bottom button's gonna go. And then your top button, I mean, you can hide it wherever you want, but I'm going to have it so you uh, pretty much just, the top button pretty much just uh, goes right next to it. But of course, you're probably going to want to hide it in the long run. So actually, let me uh, make this look nice too as well. So there we go. And this is where our... Uh our closet's gonna go so if you want to actually i'm telling you guys what you need but i didn't tell you you needed doors you need a door to make a closet so what all you have to do is look backwards like this on the block and put a door in like that and do it on both sides now sometimes the door will get messed up so all you have to do is delete the door and put it back but here's our closet beautiful so now if i click the oh we haven't even done it yet so i can't click the button and do anything yet so pretty much all we're gonna do is hook this up to make it hook up to a button so what we're gonna do pretty much is come let's uh use yellow wool for our buttons uh yellow well, there it is yellow wool so right here where our one button is, we're going to come out two blocks from it. So one, two, like that. So if I uh, put dust right here and I click this button, the dust comes on. See, dust came on. That's what we want. That's what you want to do is put a torch coming off the side of this block. So now if I click the button, the torch goes off. Actually, I'm not sure. I might have to go down here. Let me check real quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's my... No, this is the wrong one. Where's my button? There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. The button's literally... Oh, the button's literally right next to it. Okay, yeah, I did do it wrong. Never mind. So pretty much the dust is right next to it like that. And the torch goes to the side. Ah, ha, ha. So pretty much just make it come out one block from the button. Then put a torch here. Then come two blocks down from the torch. One, two... Put dust here. The dust should come on. Put another torch here. The torch should go off. Put dust right down underneath this torch. Then we're, this is where we're going to have to dig down the one extra block that I told you about. Put a sticky piston here facing upwards with a block on top of it. Put a repeater coming out of it. Put a sticky piston coming out of the one tick delay repeater like this. This will create a, a monostable circuit if you're wondering. Put a block in front of it. Then dig down another block right here and put a torch facing upwards like that. So now if I click the button, it goes up. Click the button again, it goes down. So now literally all you have to do is hook any dust to this. Pretty much if you want to hide your button up here, you just put it anywhere to this dust. So uh, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to put my button right next to it. I'm pretty lazy that way. So <laughs> I'm just going to say put my button right here. Why not? Let's just put my button right here. So I'm going to pretty much all I'm going to do is just put a torch right behind it. Come down a block, put dust here. 
put another torch here, and then literally just hook this up to over here. Because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> so pop it up and up like that. So now if I click my button up here, hopefully open my closet. It works. And it goes down. And boop, there you guys go. That is how you build my secret room inside a closet or just a triple piston lift. That's what it is. It's a triple piston lift. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Uh. <laughs> Peace.